right, we're gonna be doing rear brake pads, uh, 2016 Infinity uh, QX50. And the first thing you wanna do is check it out from right there. Now we're gonna take the wheel off. All right, so you gotta take this little cover off. It's real easy to take off. Just get a screwdriver. Get it off. And these look like size 21. If you don't have an impact on like this, um, before you lift it up, you break the tension with the breaker bar on all five of them, then lift it up and then you take them off. Pretty simple, easy job. Um, shouldn't take you that long to do. All right, so all we're gonna be doing is change the brake pads. The rotors are still good. So, any size 14 wrench, and you just hit it with a hammer, take the tension. Then you also wanna get a flat screwdriver. Put it in here, put it in there, and you want to push the caliper back as much as you can. This will save you a lot of work. If you want to, just try to get it all the way back. Um, so just like that. And then I'll show you guys the work. That way you won't have to push the caliper all the way back. Oh shit. Okay, so we're gonna, go, we're gonna have to go from the top. I wasn't planning on taking both bolts off. Uh, usually you could just take one off and then lift the caliper and change out the brake pads. But because the arm control is in the way, we're gonna have to take it off. You can always go down like this and just slide the path off. As you can see, this had like mm, 5%. All right, so I just want to show the difference real quick of a good brake pad and 5%. All right, so see this is what I meant, like your caliper's like pushed all the way back already. So you actually don't have to push it back. Now we're gonna get some grease and put in the hardware. On both sides too. Then you get your brake pad. Get some grease there, there, and there. You just put it back there and it just lights up um, it just lights in there all right same thing at the front slide it um, and then you go uh you put grease in these two 
and these are the bolts that go in here so as you can see that's pretty much it it's real simple uh, same thing on this one so now we just have to tighten it up all right so now we just gotta tighten it up and pretty much down on these brake pads um it's the same thing on the other side uh, um, same procedure and then just push the pedal down 10 times and you know I'll, I'll show you guys how to do that too that's pretty easy but um so whenever you're putting these back whenever you tighten it up um you have to hit it with the hammer a couple times too just so it'll be real tight so i'm gonna show you guys Stand like that, then and with the hammer. And that's the same thing at the bottom. Once it gets tight, and with the hammer. And pretty much done. Save me hundreds of dollars. It's the same procedure on the other side. Now we're gonna do the last step. We'll just push the brake pedal down ten times until it catches pressure. We'll go. All right. And always check your brake fluid. Just make sure you have enough in there. So uh, thanks for watching, and please like and subscribe.